Pugglies, it's Megan Pugcakes, and today I'm going to give you a tour of my giant purse collection. So just so you know, it is really warm in here, so I've got a fan going, and that's why he's panting, so you might hear that in the background. So I never thought I would do a video like this because I didn't used to have a massive collection, but since 2008, it's grown a lot, and a big part of that has been going to Disney and finding bags that are Disney-themed, but a lot of them I have because they're just cute. So this is pretty much my whole collection. I'm just not showing the ones I'm planning to sell because I don't use them anymore. So I do have kind of those all set aside and I didn't really want to focus on those because this might be a longer video. So what I'm going to start with is my everyday purse which is this one. I always have a purse that I use every day and it's usually for a year I'll use that purse every day and then I switch out to a new one in the next year. Never done that intentionally, it just kind of works out that way. So this is the one my husband got me for Christmas and what I do is this is what I'll use day to day and then over the weekend or if I have plans with someone or an event that's when I'll switch out to a different purse or mini backpack. So I love this one because it's so cute and I can bring some kawaii with me when I'm doing errands and stuff. Um, I'll wait to do the, a more detailed review of this purse for like a what's in my purse video but let's just say right now this has been my favorite and that one was from Amazon so I can put a link for that if you're interested. This was last year's everyday purse. It's a Betsy Johnson. I still has my my fall disinfectant on it. So this I found at Ross and this is actually a lot more functional as a regular everyday purse than my current one because it's got a shoulder strap and a handle and it's got a lot of storage and pouches even the sides completely unzip on both sides so this is actually really nice i didn't think i would really be interested in black and white stripes because it makes me think of beetlejuice but it, it actually kind of worked and i like this so this isn't one i'm gonna get rid of but i just love the other one too much for this to be my regular purse another betsy bag that i do sometimes use regularly is this adorable panda purse this is actually currently available on any website that carries betsy bags oh, so it is newer it has so many wonderful details. The nose says Betsy Johnson. There's rhinestone eyes, fluffy fuzzy ears. It has sequined paws actually on both sides. And even the uh, little belt thing. Look at that, it's a heart. I love the details and I think my favorite part is this leaf zipper pull. Very, very functional and comfortable. Lots of space, lots of space. All of my stuff that I use in my day-to-day -day bag, I can fit in here. Um, and it's just a crossbody. Oh, and it does have the handles. One of the things I kind of like about this purse is when I'm wearing it, I love to just fluff the little fuzzy ears. And I'll just be at the mall talking to someone, fluff, 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 fluff. I don't know. I, I really love this purse. I found it on Poshmark actually for like half of what you can find this at uh, retail. So I was really happy. I also am going to show you my mini backpacks because I do use those as purses. This gorgeous lounge fly backpack I purchased from LA Style Rush and this is an exclusive to LA Style Rush but Disney also sells in the parks these bags in different colors they just don't have them in gold so I got this one to wear to Disney World and one of our days there my husband and I were doing a Lion King theme so I thought gold would work really well for that and I have some pins I put on here this one is a Disney mystery pin and then this one and this one came as a set and they are actually by Loungefly and I got them at Box Lunch and I really love these. I have locking pin backs so they don't fall off and I think I'm just going to leave them. I like it so much and then the inside is yellow polka dots. 
So this is a favorite. I, of course, like right after I got this at Fuego, they had a hot pink version and I'm like, obviously you can tell by looking at me if I could choose between gold or hot pink, I'm gonna go with hot pink. But I think this one worked better for the Lion King theme and eventually I might have to add the hot pink one to my collection. This one is one of my other favorite lounge fly mini backpacks. My mom surprised me with this for my trip, my Disney trip. And as far as I know, it's only sold from Hot Topic, but they sold out really quickly. But you can see it's got Sleeping Beauty's Castle and then Aurora's Crown along the quilting. The zipper pull is the Disney D. And then I got these little guys from Hallmark to clip on there to make it even extra cuter. I love this bag because it holds its shape really well. So lots of space. Lots of space in the front. So this was my favorite bag to have at the parks, actually. I used this multiple times. I am somebody, and you'll see with all the purses I have, I would wear a different purse and backpack combo every day we were in the parks. But this one I wore multiple times because I loved it so much. And I have worn it since being at Disney. And then we have this cutie patootie. This little backpack is actually from Tokyo Disney. I got it from a seller online. It's got little ears, and this is a very nice um, fuzzy fabric of Marina Macaron. And she says, I love, I love sweets and getting dressed up. And the zipper pulls are little pearls. And I've added a couple favorite Marie keychains to this. Oh, can't forget, there's also, this one is also from Tokyo, and she's so cute. And then this I got at Disneyland. So this is like kind of my everything Marie bag. And I've worn this at the parks and at home. It is smaller inside than the lounge fly bags. It just, it, it's just a smaller backpack. So I don't use it as much because I think those ones are just, they hold more. Like I could shove a jacket into those. But this is still really wonderful and I keep it on display in my room. This mini backpack, this is my Ita bag. This practically could have its own video. I'd like to put like some ruffle or something around here. But this is something that you can find online pretty cheaply on Amazon and such. And what I did was I got a Lady in the Tramp fabric to put on the back. And then some of my favorite Disney pins are on display. And then right in the middle, we have my cast member pin from when I worked there. And I glued a little Cinderella shoe to it. Not all of these are pins. Some of them are buttons, fairy tale buttons that I got from Joann's and glued on. And then, um, so it's got that. It, for those of you not familiar with Eda bags, it has this lining here so that the pins are protected and, you know, they won't fall out and then so it's just standard size backpack this one's really fun and it's a very good conversation starter and then I have a aerial hand sanitizer I wear this in the park at least once every time I visit and I wear it around town and it's always so fun to see people display their collections with these I would love to have a second bag and do a completely different theme I kind of want to do a pushing themed one so this one is definitely one of my favorites in the collection. Then I've got this one, a drawstring bag. Don't know if I would say it's a purse, but it was so pretty I had to show you. This was something I got from Magic at Your Door last year. Super nice quality, has the name of the princesses on the back and kind of sparkly, even the straps are kind of sparkly. So this is what I actually use as my gym bag. I don't know if people think I'm weird, but it's it's so pretty. Obviously I'm someone who has to have Disney with me like all the time. This backpack is not a mini backpack, but it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful and rainbowy. It's a Betsy Johnson backpack. And you have little pandas all over it. It has this like leathery, rainbow heart it says Betsy on the back and I have a rainbow pushing unicorn 
it, it, this is like such a big keychain. So this is the bag I put that on. I mean, it's, it's a full size backpack. It's huge. And I have used this as carry on. It's got tons of pouches. I've used this when going to the fair, like traveling. And I always get compliments, although usually the people who compliment me are like 10 year old girls, but I don't care. This is so cute. It's so magical. And I found this at Ross. Ross is actually a great place to find Betsy Johnson bags, I've noticed. So I saw this and had to snap it up because it was so pretty. And this is the last backpack I'm going to show. I still, I, it's small enough, I think it can count. I got this several years ago at Hot Topic. And I love Little Mermaid, and I really thought this was such a vibrant, colorful design. And I have since used it to display Disney buttons, the kind you get for free in the parks. And inside, I have, we have all of our buttons that we've gotten. On very, actually, I don't think we got any on this last trip. But we got a lot from our honeymoon and stuff, so... This is just kind of where I keep them and I put them on at other bags and stuff. So this one's just kind of our Disney button bag. So these next two are kind of not what, okay, let me just show you. This is my Christmas purse. Yes, I have a purse for Christmas and I use this from November through New Year, well, like Thanksgiving to New Year's. And it's from Charmin Charlie's. Got my favorite, my favorite type of purse has a strap and a handle. Um, it's not super big, but it's got room for everything I need it to have. And then I always have to clip my little Rudolph hand sanitizer, except um, he lost his other antler and he used to light up, he doesn't light up anymore. But I always feel festive. I don't wear a lot of red normally in my wardrobe, but Christmas time I do, and this matches like everything I have at that time of year. This, also from Charming Charlie's, is their Buffalo Check Weekender bag. And I love this so much. <gasps> strap and handle and huge. I use this during the holidays, uh, like instead of a suitcase, like it really is like a weekender idea. Lots of room and it is kind of a soft flannel feel. Really, really love this. It was one that they sold out of for like three years in a row. And when I finally found one, I guess because everybody else already had theirs, I picked it up. But yeah, this this is a great one for holiday traveling. So next, I'm going to show you all of my smaller crossbody bags. This is one I got last year from Box Launch. It's a Lounge Fly Marie crossbody bag. Super cute, pale pink. She of course says, because I'm a lady, that's why. And... I still feel like it's it's roomy and it ha the print inside is really cute. It has her face on it and plenty of little storage pouches. I very happy with this one. It's still big enough that I can store a lot of things in it. Then we've got my mini. This one I did bring on our more recent trip. I got this from my husband for, as a birthday gift and it is a, of course, lounge fly. It because they just have beautiful quality Disney purses and this, you can find it Hot Topic. This one is very small. My sunglasses don't fit in this, but when I'm at the parks, I'll have a mini backpack and a small purse so I can easily grab my phone, tissues, comb, like stuff I don't want to dig around in the backpack for. But this would also be great for a date. I've worn the, I wore this on Valentine's Day actually. If you look up close, the little tiny spark little shiny things are actually Mickey Mouse heads. Very, very Disney-esque. I'll show you some of my more boring ones. I'm on the fence if I'm keeping this. I like it. And this one's a great one for fall because I wear a lot of I wear a lot of fall colors. Like I dress, I literally dress in a way that matches the seasons in terms of colors. So this one is a great date purse. This is not one I wear as a regular bag. Um, it's got a lot of pouches, 
pouches on both sides and little zipper pouches and a pouch in the front. And it's one I've had for a long time, so I don't know if it's one I want to keep, but it served me well. This Betsy bag, also from Ross, is a very cute little bag to bring on a date. I love the sequins and that it just looks like a miniature regular purse. It has the little heart with Betsy on it and it's, and it's got silky lining with kisses. This is definitely a fun purse when you go out at night. This little guy I actually got for my wedding for like the getaway part where you change into not your fancy clothes. So this one matched my wedding colors, but I really like it because you can use it instead of a wallet. It actually has card slots and two pouches and then a little coin purse in the middle. And it's got a nice crossbody on it. So this is one for when I wanna dress up, but still have room for all my things. Now this one, again, is one I don't know what to do with. I got it from Magic at Your Door. And it's a nice quality purse. I think the retail price would have been like $45. But it's weird. It's weird because it's this is not black, first of all. It's dark navy with red. I just don't really like it. And it's kind of boring. So what I did was I took a Minnie Mouse pin that I got from them and put it right up here. And even with the locking pin back, it fell off immediately. So now I almost don't feel like I can sell it because it's got a hole from where I put the enamel pin, but it's too boring for me to ever want to use regularly. So I don't know, I guess I'll find another pin. So, I mean, it is a nice bag. Got satiny lining, but it's really not for me. But again, I don't know if anyone would buy it, so. This one is not one I hang up in a place of honor in my room because of its cuteness. Let's just say that. Then we've got one of my favorite little crossbodies I got from Hot Topic. A lounge fly Lilo and Stitch purse. It's called a camera style bag. And it would actually fit my camera and supplies really well. I've just never used it for that. I love the sweet little print. It's perfect for a summer day out. And then I, of course, had to put a cute little stitch keychain on there. Yeah, so this is, I mean, it can fit your essentials. Sunglasses, phone, wallet. So definitely a fun summer go and hang out kind of purse. And I have used it at Disney, obviously. This one is one of my favorites because it's so unique. I ordered this from Japan. It's a Tokyo Disney bag. It's Ariel peering out of your camera. And then what I did, which I think made it a whole much better, is I actually added this background. So I didn't like that it was just clear. So I put this piece of just regular, it's technically from the scrapbook paper section of Michael's, but it's like almost more like cardstock so it's really stiff and so i just glued a square of it over this and i think it gave it some really nice dimension and it matches perfectly so i think it just it looks like it came that way personally and then i put a little disney emoji keychain on there and so it's just simple little crossbody bag that is perfect for a day at Disneyland. And speaking of perfect for Disneyland, oh my baby, it's so beautiful. So this one was very expensive, first of all, because you can only get these at Disneyland and not Disney World, not on the website. So I had to do a pickup service. Like you could go to Poshmark and Mercari and people will go to Disney, buy them, and then they charge you a fee. So it was expensive, but and it's by Danielle Nicole and she does really good quality bags for Disney. 
and this is just magnificent it's his sleeping beauty's castle so it's got the pink they even texturized the rocks i mean so beautiful this is a crossbody bag that isn't adjustable i watched a review where the girl who had it was only five zero and it hung down probably at crotch length on her so she's gonna have to remove some of the chains I'm about 5'5". Five five. On me, it's perfect. It's right at my hip. So that's something to bear in mind if you're going to get this purse. If you're a lot taller than me, it might not work for you. But I love this. This is one where I honestly kind of want a shelf, like its own shelf. But uh, I haven't, as you can see, I haven't gotten to wear it yet. But I can't wait to do so. Maybe tomorrow. Why not be magical? This is i don't know if i could really call this a purse but it is a recent purchase of mine and it's so pretty i had to show you guys so it is a card captor chakra sanria little twin stars crossover and they have all these cute little desserts and you got to see the button i also got for this so there is a seller on instagram called Ra raquel's creations and she's a buying service so she'll pick up things from japan and then you can purchase them on instagram and so she got this and i had to get it i was planning to wear it to the anime convention but i didn't get a chance to go and what it's cool about it is it sits flat um, most tote bags don't have a bottom like that so this I hang up on my door because I have to look at it all the time my final purse I'm going to show you guys is my most recent purchase I haven't used it yet so it still has the packaging on it this I'm planning to wear to the new Aladdin movie I'm going opening weekend and as you can see it is the magic carpet and up close you have the palace and it says a whole new world which is so perfect no surprise it is a lounge fly bag and it i would say is the same size and shape of the marie purse so i know it will be able to carry everything i need it to i'm planning to do sort of a jasmine inspired outfit so this is going to be great especially if the movie is good like it just makes me nostalgic though because even if live action is not what I like I will always love the original so this is one I had to get when I saw it at Hot Topic so do I have a problem I might have a problem that's a lot of purses especially considering I have other backpacks I have a ridiculous amount of tote bags that practically explode out of the closet whenever I open the closet and then of course all of the ones I'm selling, it, at least I'm selling some of them, right? Like, not being wasteful. Yeah, but I think they are something that make me happy and bring a little bit of personality to my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> it's not something I used to think of as a collection, but at this point, yeah, I do. I, I kind of, if something I curate, I find the pieces I love, and then I display them, like... But unlike some of my other collections, I can wear it and show it to the world. So I hope you liked this video. Did you have a favorite purse of mine? And would you be interested in a what's in my purse video? Let me know. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.